Hello, fashion lovers. Welcome to today's episode on NASPA Fashion Blog. Still on the principles of cutting, I want to show you how to cut the basic pants with the freehand method. When you want to cut the basic pants, which a lot of people know it as trousers, we will need our waist measurement, our hip, our thigh, the crotch, and our trouser leg. You can refer to our previous video on how to take the basic measurement for the trousers, especially with the cut and the trouser length and the tie. So when you want to cut your trousers, make sure you have a two yards of fabric, two yards. And the yard is 36 inches wide. So if you Every one yard is 36 inches. 36. From the tip of the tape measure is 36 inches. So when you want to cut your trousers, always make sure you're having two yards of the fabric. So you lay it on the table like that. Well, with the, still on the principles of cutting, when you want to cut, you know we always use just the cutter of the measurement. So, the widest part being the hip, which is 44, we divided by 4, which is going to give us 11. Then our waist measurement, then we have our tie, we have our... So when we are cutting the trousers, we are going to need our hip measurement and the trouser length. The trouser length which is 35, uh, 39. Plus our uh, 3 inches which is going to give us 42. When you are cutting the trousers, we are going to cut with our hip measurement. Then later we will add allowance. So when you are cutting the trousers, first when you take your two yards of fabric press it so that it will be flat all the crampons will be straightened so first we are going to draw our border lines I'm going to leave a two inches borderline. If there's the fabric, I'm going to leave two inches borderline. Measure two inches from here to here. Then I'm going to measure another two inches up. Mm -hmm. So on the gray buff, we are going to measure our two inches. Then two inches on the side. And we'll use our ruler. Use our ruler to mark a straight line to the end. I measure another two inches so that I can get a straight line. So you can get a straight line like this. So this borderline is going to help you with the allowance that you need. But when we are cutting, we are not going to add to the hip measurement. We are going to use the hip measurement straight. <laughs> so when you, after marking your borderlines for the trousers. You measure, so the first border line will serve as the waistline. Then from your waist to hip, we are going to measure our waist to hip. 
So W to H. We are going to give it nine. So when you measure your waist to hip, I'm going to mark nine inches. From the two inches borderline that I did. So nine inches. Then I'm going to roll a straight line to cross it. So this is the waistline and this will be our hip line. And we are going to mark our crotch line, which is the waist to the crotch line, which is 13. So from the waistline, we are going to mark 13 again. Mark another, then you rule a straight line. So in effect, this is the waistline and this is the the border line. The border line of two inches. So this will be our waistline. Then you mark your waist to hip, which is nine inches. So this is the hip line. Then nine inches from waist to hip. Then I'm going to mark my crotch line, which is 13 inches from the waist. So this is our crotch line. So we need here. So this is the waist. This is the hip line, then this is the crotch line. So that's what I've marked on the from waist to hip, nine inches I marked from the waist to the crotch line again is 13 inches. So right from here to here is the 13. So when you finish marking on the fabric, we are going to mark the hip measurement divided by four on all the lines here. So from the border line of the two inches, I'm going to mark the hip divided by four, which is 11. I'll mark from the border line on the waistline, then on the hip line too. Then I'm going to mark on the crotch line again. That's the hip divided by four. Then I'll just rule a straight line from the waistline to through the hip to the cross line. So I'm going to you measure from from the border line here to the nine and uh, the eleven inches. The hip divided by four. From the hip line, you mark the same eleven inches, and on the cross line, you mark the same eleven inches. So I just draw a straight line to touch the cross line. Mm -hmm. So from this, you are going to know where our crotch is going to curve to. So from this, we are going to mark where the crotch will curve to. So after ma marking your 11 inches from the border line to the, to the hip line, measure the 11 inches and just divide into two. So 11 divided by two, you can use your tape measure. Just put it on the 11 inches mark Straighten the end of the this is, open it and you are getting your 5.5. So in effect, you are just going to stand here and mark your 5.5 on your fabric. So from here, I'm going to mark the hip divided by two on the crotch line. So let's say this is the hip divided by two. Mm -hmm. So that is where our crotch is going to curve to. So we are going to mark it on our fabric. So this is the 11 inches from the border line divided by two. I'm going to stand on where the hip line is on the crotch line. I'm going to mark 5.5 inches. So after marking the 5.5 inches, I'm going to, since the crotch is a curve, it's not a, a square line shape like this. It's a curve right from the down part through your back. So we are going to pivot at two inches Pivot two inches here. Then going to start curving from the hip line through the two inches to the hip divided by two on the crotch line. So the trouser is taking shape already. Mm -hmm. So we are going to mark it on the fabric. We will pivot two inches, put two inches at the corner here, then just mark 
a curve. So right from here, you can use the free hand to curve through the two inches to the curve, the crotch curve. So you can see your trouser, the top part being curved with the crotch like this. This part we are doing is for the back. So that you just remember for the back, you divide the hip measurement into two to get your crotch curve. When we get to the front part, it will not be divided by two again. So you should take note. Mm -hmm. So after drawing the curve, we are going to measure and mark the trouser length from here. So the trouser length, which is 39, we are going to start from the borderline and mark 39 inches down. So let's say from here to here is 39. So you mark, you measure your 39 inches. That will be the trouser length. Mm -hmm. So the trouser length, 39 inches. If you like, you can add your allowance to make it, uh, or when you get the pattern, you can use it and add it. So let's say we are going to add our trouser length plus our in three inches. So our 39 plus three is going to be 42. So from the marking point to the top where the waist is to the down, we are going to get our 42 inches trouser length. So we are going to use the tape, me uh, the tape measure from the waistline, stretch the tape measure, then mark your 42 inches. That's the trouser length plus three inches. You can do the same for this side so that you can get a straight line. And use your ruler to mark a straight line from 43, it's here. Good. Is it 42? Yeah, 42. Sorry. So you, might, you draw a straight line through the trouser length of 42 inches. So after drawing that line, we are going to measure from near to the where the crotch curve is. We are going to measure and divide by two. That is going to give us the middle part of the. So I'm going to measure from here to the crotch. Mine is 16 and a half. So I'm just going to take the tip of the tape measure, curve it to that, then get the middle part, the middle point of my crotch line. So I'm getting eight and a half. So I'm going to measure from here eight and a half and just mark the middle point. So from here to here, we will measure and find the middle, find the middle. So you mark. So measure from here to the middle and mark the same measurement from here to here. So we are going to mark uh, 8.5 on the trouser length. on the trouser length mark. So after marking the same, the measurement from here to the crotch divided by two, you mark the same thing here, then draw a straight line through the two points. So we are going to use the ruler to join a straight line. So from here we are going to also divide the distance between the crotch line and the trouser length into two. So we'll divide it, then mark to get the knee line. So you measure from the trouser, from the crotch line to the trouser length. Just bring the tip of the tape measure to where the line is. Press to get the middle. I'm getting 14, almost 14.5. So I'm going to stand on the middle line and mark 14.5. 14.5. Then I'll draw a straight line through. Mm -hmm. So on the board, we are going to measure the distance between the crotch line and the trouser length. Then just mark and mark it here too. And draw a straight line through draw a straight line through. So this serves as the knee, the knee, the knee line, where the knee is. So when you are marking your basic trouser, when you measure the knee, we always mark 
about five inches five inches on your right and mark five inches on your left so from the knee point mark five inches on your left then five inches on your right so since it's a trouser if you want the shape to be straight you can bring the same five inches down or you can re reduce the length to four inches so that you can shape it on the on the feet a little so from here you can make it if here is five inches you can make here four inches four inches mm -hmm. so we are getting the shape already so we are going to connect from the crotch line through our five inches right through the four inches we are getting the shape and from the hip line you are going to mark draw a line through from the hip part through the five inches then down to the where the four inches is so you can see the shape of the trouser already it's just a little process that you have to follow so if you follow the point you get it right so on the knee line, I'm going to mark 5 inches on my right, then 5 inches on my left for an average person. If the person has a bigger tie or a bigger knee, you can use 6 inches, then the down part you can use 5 inches. So if the person too is below the average size, you can also mark 4 inches on the knee, then mark 3 inches on the, on the trouser length. So, this is an average size, marking 5 inches on the knee and marking 4 inches on the trouser length. So I'm going to use my ruler to connect the lines. So from the crotch part, I'm going to draw a straight line through the knee part, through the 5 inches. Then from the knee, connect to the trouser length. On the shape side, you can uh, start from the cross line, connect to the knee part with a straight line. Then from the knee part again through the trouser length. So in effect, we finished our back trouser cut. So this mostly serves as the pattern for the trouser and if you are going to cut the trousers we are going to add an allowance if you if you want you can just add your half inch allowance or one inch allowance how you prefer it so let's say we are adding one inch we'll just follow the curve add one inch and add one inch so this is going to be our cutting line so from here to here, one inch. Then we are going to mark one inch here, one inch, one inch, just to follow the point and get our, our allowance that we are going to cut. On the side, so far as it's a shaping side, we don't add one inch. We can add, that's why we initially left the two inches at the side. So that our shaping side, when you finish and it's too tight, you can open it. So on the side the two we are going to follow the two inches so from here to here we'll mark the two inch two inches allowance two inches allowance so right from the shaping side we are just going to connect to the two inches mark then cut so i'm going to show you on the fabric so the cross side i'm marking one inch allowance you can do it half if it's too much for you so one inch, one inch. And since here is going to serve as our allowance space, we are going to use the two inches that is here. So from here, it's already two inches. So from here, that we are going to mark two inches so that we can get. But if you are sure of your, your size, you can just add half if you don't want any alteration later so i'm going to use my ruler and my chalk to connect the lines
Draw the two um, the one inch allowance and draw the curve to meet just like this. Then use your ruler to connect from the knee, from the crotch to the knee, then from the knee to the the trouser length. Mm -hmm. So looking at it, this is going to be our cutting line with the allowance. Good. So this is for the back pants or back trousers. Thank you for joining us on today's episode. I hope you learned something. If you have any question, drop it in the comment section below or contact the number on the screen. If you are interested in joining the NASPA fashion training, call the number on the screen for more information. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. See you on the next episode. Thank you.